fantastic fucking manga slash anime. Yeah, no one's heard of ReZero. It's okay. I like ReZero. I think it, it goes too much. Or are they playing? Yeah. Oh, shit. Right, so we got, we got some Sheik. Or not Sheik. Why do I always default to Sheik? We got Fox Ices. No, it's Sheik Ices. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which is interesting because um, this is like a two versus two, right? So this is the... Or this is a one versus two. I think that's how it works. Yeah, this is like a one versus two seed. So Large Marge getting first in their pool. Oh, great wave dash back. So the thing about Fox Icy is that it's bad for Icy's. It's bad. It's bad for Icy's. But the big thing that I think it's the same the same thing why I think Falco is in top tier. Icy's game plan versus Fox is really hard to execute, right? It's very technical. It's very dependent on very specific like situations, which makes this a losing matchup, right? We're not just saying it's a losing matchup because oh Fox is good. We're saying it's a losing matchup because for Icy's to kill Fox. It takes a lot longer than for Fox to kill Ice. Yeah. So, in my opinion, I would say it's like a 60-40. Like, it, it definitely hinges one way, but if the Ice is better than the Fox, it's pretty easy to win. Yeah, I, I don't know how much I believe in, like, the whole numbers for matchups. Yeah. When I say 60-40, I mean that they're, it's skewed one way, it and, and the game plan is easier. If I say 70-30, it's like Sheik versus Bowser. That's that's worse than seventy thirty. Okay, well that's like an eighty twenty. What's what's like a what's a good chic like chic seventy thirty? Like Ness? Probably yeah. Yeah. Or Ness or something. Like Ness can kill I mean, Sheik. Sheik Bowser might actually be probably the worst matchup in melee. Yeah. Regardless, <laughs> this is like the 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 Fox game plan here is super simple, right? You you don't really you can't really like crouch cancel his down air. So yeah, this is all you have to do. You see, he's just go, he's running in, he's down down airing, and then he's shining and separating them. And that's literally all you have to do, right? Oh, we did he get it. Got enough of it. Yeah. Okay. So this is oh nice. Okay. So actually, Fox is dead here. Yeah. Very good. Flash Mars repping the Ed tag. Oh yeah, Ed. Uh, little legend in the MDVA community. If that's the same ad, right? I don't think a lot. I think most people, not most, maybe not most, but like a good number of people probably don't know who Ed is. Yeah. That's Legend in the MDVA community, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Old school legend. Old school legend. Are we old school now? Yeah. I mean, you're, you're old school. I'm definitely old for school. Sure. Yeah. I think I'm probably old school. Well. No, you're definitely old school now, too, dude. Sorry to say, that's but it's weird it's probably 10 years now. Well, like, so in my mind, I imagine when somebody says old school, they play like in a way that like you know people like some parts of their play aren't um what's the word they're different right it's it's not they don't use all the options that you see people using nowadays in the current right. that, that's what i think of when i think of old school. i see i'm i'm saying old school is the amount of time but who is ed ed used to be like the main uh stats keeper of mdba so he would go to tournaments very he was actually a good luigi too he actually had a lot of wins um, he so he kept a lot of the statistics in melee, right? He kept who won, who beat who. He had this massive Excel sheet. I'm talking pages and and, and uh, what the, what are those called? Uh, those uh, pivot tables. He had a lot of these pages that they would use for the PR every year. Um, sadly, it is a thankless job. So Ed did have to you know stop doing it because it kind of sucks doing it. So okay, oof. You know it's crazy that we haven't seen Large Mart get a lot of grabs. But yeah, the reason he's a legend is because he did a lot of the PRs and headed headed them off. But Large Marge actually, oof. so that's one thing you can't really do. So when Icy does that thing where they like go on ledge, Nana is a very vulnerable, right? Nana, one or two things could happen. Nana dies or Nana just jumps off. Both things suck. <laughs> oh, great up air. Or up. So. I'm surprised they didn't grab there. Yeah. I, think I don't know if up tilt grab is like true in any way, but no. This but, should be the game. Yeah. Yeah, nice up air. Okay, this is good. So once again, um, this matchup sucks for Ices. Uh, All right, so we're still in best of three. So FD is yeah. definitely off the table. Yeah. FD sucks. I mean, FD just skews every matchup. I actually think FD is the worst stage. You know, I, I kind of starting to believe it too. <laughs> I think I, I didn't always believe it, but um, yeah, it's just it's, it's so polarizing. It's and, pol and the funny thing is, it's even polarizing in dittos. Yeah. <laughs> Right, like, which is crazy to say, but it's definitely true. 
Now this stage, Frozen Stadium, in my opinion, is actually what should be FD in, in general. I think the reason FD is so bad is because you lose the a lot of the game plans, right, that you have, and there's no shield dropping. Oof. Okay, so, okay, what? this is interesting. I mean, Barge Barge just... is not going for any of the grab combos. Yeah. Well, like you said, it, it, it A, limits your movement options because yeah. there are no platforms. You can't shield drop, um, which is fine, but it also just makes punish game immensely skewed for whoever has you know, a better punish game than that. Yeah. Also, so someone asked when is best of five. I'm assuming it's after this round. So. I'll have oh, the, round, so. the taunt. The double taunt. Okay. Large march up two stocks. Okay, the big thing about taunts is that they're really for yourself, but the other person sees it as disrespectful. So what's going to happen is you got to just hope that Teletubby has the mental fortitude to uh, last. Yeah. Oh, I'm just writing this crap. Oh, okay. Dude, let's just let's start doing predictions. Oh, yeah, we, let's do it. Let's do it. And let's hide it. Okay. No, we'll show it before the set starts. Okay. This is actually interesting because the Large March hasn't done any of those famed like Icy's combo. Ooh, nice. Oh. He hasn't done any of those famed Icy's grab combos at the edge. He's just been going for reads, right? Which is super hard to do. It's a very hard game plan to achieve. Because you're pretty much relying on the fact that you can read the other person, right? And if they do something that you don't know what they're doing, like you don't read, you're, you know, out of out of place. Nice uh, short. I feel like Teletubby has had a lot of cases where they could have killed Nana and they just didn't. They just, they, it's not even that they went after uh, Popo, they just kind of did. I don't know if they were indecisive. Uh, like here. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. The one thing I don't hear Teletubby doing is mashing out of grab. Especially at, early, at, at like early percents. It's actually kind of important in this matchup. It's why it makes Fox so damn hard, right? The, the dare makes it so Fox can never get grabbed or Crouch cancel grabbed, right? But yeah, just like that. It's a great dare, honestly. Oof. Okay, let's see what happens. So, he missed the L cancel. That's the only, oh, yeah. oh, there we go. That's a good grab. That's a good mash. Let's see what he does. So, right now, he has to get mana out of there. Oh, Nana. Oh, nice. Okay. I feel like that could have been a jab re grab. The ice, the ice saved him. Yeah, that could have been a jab re grab. That's something I haven't seen him do at all. He hasn't jab re grabbed at all. Oh, nice. You know, this Icy's playstyle is super interesting, right? It's like there's not a lot of grab. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, this, is what, this is what you'd expect. Yeah. Oh, did you see what he made Nana do? He made, dude. Yeah. So disrespectful. I'm gonna watch that replay. That's actually. crazy. <laughs> yeah, we're we have another set that actually has a stream on that shows the replay by like 10 seconds or so. I want to see that. That's a clip right there. Yeah. <laughs> so here's how you do it. So when Popo has control of the character, like in the grab, you can pretty much mash the option. So that's how I got the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that's the only desync I really know how to do. Besides, like the and you're the only one who also you're the only one you also know how to do, which is the uh, dodge desync. Yeah, that's the only yeah. one I've ever practiced. <laughs> yeah, that's the only I one. I practiced I've that for like ten minutes yeah. once. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much the only one I know. Okay, so this is where. Okay, I don't know why he's not doing it. That's a guaranteed. He got the. Yeah, he got the kill, but. But yeah, no, I agree. I think there's a lot more that you could get off of that in the corner. Dude, he actually slid off. That's oh, okay, okay good. Oh. So that's super important. So once that was supposed to be a dash attack. Yeah, once Sopo is by himself, by their self, I don't know which which one this is. Once they're by themselves, they suck. Like they're a really bad character. Um pretty much you have to get like super reads to kinda win. It's so hard to taunting. Though. Yeah, this is I, I kinda like it honestly. Yeah, like, can I, nothing against both players, I think it's just funny. The thing about taunting is that it's it is like a mental tactic, right? You're getting taunted in the middle of the game. You're probably thinking, like, damn, dude, this guy is being super disrespectful. Like, screw this guy. I'm better than him. You know, that's what you're thinking. That's a, what's going through your mind. The whole idea about it, though, is that you are you want your opponent to think that, so they do something clumsy, right? Like, right now, Large Marge is kind of owning. Oh, great recovery. Holy crap. I think it's funny that Melee literally has a mechanic that puts you in the most vulnerable state you can be in. And there's absolutely no bonus or plus side to it. 
yeah. it only exists to just annoy, to put you in the worst possible states that your opponent can get tilted off. Of. Yeah. Oof, large Marge has okay. So the you got to give props to Large Marge on the the dash back grabs because he's like forcing Teletubby in and then just grabbing or they're grabbing. Sorry, it's fantastic. I honestly think it's amazing. Take it. SDI, I think. Yeah, great SDI. I don't know if they messed up. Or not. It's kind of hard to tell when Fox messes up and when. I see. Yeah, SDI is great. Oof. Great. Okay. Dodge that. That could have been dangerous. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, so this is actually really good from uh, Teletubby now. So all he has. I feel like that's how it should have gone every stock when they got a separation, right? Yeah. It, that's exactly how you do it, right? You get the separation and then you just kill the Nana. We could have a game here if we get a grab. Yeah. All of a sudden, Telechubby's actually moving really nice. It seems like they were getting, they were slow starting at the yeah. start of the game. Honestly, you know what it was? It was the mental fortitude thing. Oh, that was a rough early punch dash. Yeah. <laughs> Barely saved that oh, one. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Good sportsmanship. Del delayed uh, fist bump, but the FGG's 